Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your September message and come on. For those of you who are new to me, hi, my name is Kelly Leonard. I'm an intuitive channel, medium, and law of attraction expert. And I do have an upcoming workshop this Saturday, September 7th. I'll link to that in the comments below if you feel called. Without further ado, Sagittarius, so let's take in your recent past. Looks like in your recent past, Sagittarius, you're really trying to like learn that balance between am I being impulsive or is this inspired action? And you're countering that with waiting for perfect timing. Because um, it really looks like Sagittarius that you're like clearing away the like clutter, the mental distractions, the people who are just attention seekers versus actually seeking connection with you. Because you're really not trying to be more logical, but you're like really being more deliberate and intentional with how you spend your time, who you spend it with. And you're just like okay with like laser focus, focusing in on the stuff that's more meaningful to you. Because um, you're really wanting to create a more meaningful life, Sagittarius. And so with that, in your recent past, you're just really trying to, is this inspired action? Or am I just being impulsive trying to make it happen? Um, so you're just really trying to find that balance, Sagittarius. It looks like in the current moment, Well, I want to say, like, love is on the mind, and, and there's someone in your vicinity, but it looks like there's a little frustration at the pace at which it's going. So that kind of makes sense with your recent past. It's kind of like, a, is this a sign it's not meant to be? Is this a... You're just, like, frustrated at the pace at which the other person's going, because it's kind of like you're just like, I'm just ready to love. Just ready to be in a loving relationship. Why are they taking their sweet time? Um, wow, this is a pretty short to the point reading. Um, so it looks like in your future, future energy, you got the Ace of Water, the Three of Fire, and the Sun. So going into the future, it's it's almost as if the other person is gonna like admit like, all right, there's something there between us, and now like. The energy is both of you are, is going to be like facing each other because it, it's like the other person is just going to admit like yeah i do like you um which is going to put you in this i've been liking you for like six months nine months now i just want my shifts to come in i want the relationship to come in i want to be able to run up and hug you and be kissing you deeply and passionately already um but you got the sun here so that means that the sun's gonna like come through and like burn through any resistance and i gotta be a little loving here Sagittarius, the resistance right now is on your end. It's you. The other person has just like seen the attraction and chemistry with you, but has like known it's not quite the right time yet. Or like they've known that something feels a little bit off, even though they can't quite put to words what it is. Um, and whenever you're in that situation of like, but I've already been loving you for six, nine months, the relationship should be further ahead than it actually is, you are not being grounded and present. You're living in a fantasy relationship in your head about the other person, and that's making the person compete with the relationship in your head with them. Instead of being in the moment and viewing relationships like a tennis match, okay? Um, just for analogy's sake, if you hit a ball over in tennis, that's you sending your energy towards the love, like, hey, cutie. The, person, the other player has to hit the tennis ball back before you can hit it again, right? So that's the other person going, hey, cutie, I see you, right? Because you can't play a tennis match with you going, hey, cutie, hey, cutie, hey, cutie, and the other person hasn't hit one back. So you built up a fake relationship in your head, being blunt, and the other person has, has just like felt that something's been off because you're at like step 10 when the relationship is actually at step one or two. So it's not even like, you know, the worst advice you can give someone in that situation is, relax, sit back, let it unfold naturally. Okay, so what I want you to do is pretend this is your knee, this is your thigh, this is your calf, maybe about a quarter inch below your knee, which is this like huge kind of network of, of like nervous, nervous system endings coming together and like somatically spiritual thinking that tends to be where a lot of the past gets 
stuck. Past emotions that haven't been processed all the way, they get stuck there. So if you're just massaging with that area out for at least a week, up to like a month, until you stop building up relationships in your head further than they actually are, that's going to help you significantly to just to just be like more in the moment. So when the person comes up to you, it'll be like a softening in your body, a softening receiving like, they're coming to say hi. Instead of a, they're coming to say hi, but in my head we're already married. That hardness, right? Because you want to like hit the ball and let them hit the ball back. So you want to go, oh, they're coming up saying hi to me. Well, hi, right? The person walking up to you is like them hitting the ball to you. You warmly receiving them is you hitting the ball back, like, oh, thanks for coming and saying hi. So it's kind of like, these are new. What advice do you have for them? Oh, it's because it looks like you're a little bit in your head about adult time. You're just a little bit in your head of like, you're not fully owning and embracing that you are a adult with adult needs and you feel that impulse and desire within your body. And that's when you're present in the moment where you go, my body feels alive, it wants to play, but I wanna wait for the right time with the right person. That's in the moment. When you get that desire, you're like, oh, I don't want to sleep with someone too soon because I want it to be a good relationship. That's you pinching off the natural desire within your body. And that's you shutting down your second chakra. That's you set, um, shutting down, exuding who you naturally are. Um, it's because you're just afraid of making a choice based on adult time impulses versus 10 of water, which is love and connection. Um, and it's kind of like you just don't want to like you don't want to make a decision where you're in the honeymoon phase or where you're in that like chemical rush of adult time. So you're, you're really just in this place of wanting to like balance it out. So know that your intentions are really good, but know that building a relationship in your head with them is not good and it's not going to help. Um, all right, I hope this video was helpful, Sagittarius. Leave me any questions, any comments. 10 a.m. Eastern time, I like to go live and channel press messages from my spirit guide, George. And if you would like more help manifesting your desires, I'm holding a Law of Attraction workshop this Saturday, September 4th. Um, I'll put the link for that in the comments. Love you all. Bye.